More than 40 million people rely on the Great Lakes for drinking water. They are the largest fresh surface water system on Earth, cover more than 94,000 square miles, and hold an estimated 6 quadrillion gallons of water. Healthy lakes are critical for a billion dollar economy, the environment, and natural wildlife, but they require constant care. The Great Lakes became severely polluted throughout the late 1900s. Big cities like Chicago, Milwaukee, and Cleveland were hotspots for chemicals, toxic pollutants, pesticides, and heavy metals entering the Great Lakes. The most contaminated was Lake Erie. For decades, heavy industry, farms, and factories had been dumping chemicals into the lake and waterways that flowed into it, like the Cuyahoga River in Cleveland and the Detroit River in Michigan. The first U.S. Clean Water Act, passed by Congress in 1972, was a key piece of legislation. The discharge of toxic substances was sharply reduced, and it improved water quality. Before the Clean Water Act, many chemicals, including mercury, were not considered harmful, and water testing showed high levels in the Great Lakes. But there are still many accidental spills, and dozens of highly contaminated Superfund sites along the lake shores waiting to be cleaned up after decades of pollution. This beach site north of Chicago, Illinois in Waukegan has five EPA Superfund sites surrounding it. Chemicals like asbestos, gas, and coal ash are found here. In Gary, Indiana, the spill of cyanide and ammonia at steel manufacturing plant ArcelorMittal killed almost 3,000 fish. 15 miles away in Portage, Indiana, U.S. Steel has spilled oil and iron into Lake Michigan. Today, more than 100 unregulated coal ash waste sites sit feet from the Great Lakes. The Waukegan Generating Station, a former coal-powered electricity plant, sits open and untreated. Researchers have found more than 22 million pounds of plastic in the Great Lakes each year. Plastics in the water break up into very small particles known as microplastics. High concentrations of microplastics were discovered in 100% of the fish that were studied by researchers. The Great Lakes are an extremely important freshwater source to the world and need to be protected for generations to come.